You're in a helicopter, the engine fails, and it stops powering the rotor blades. So then gravity pulls the helicopter down, and air gets forced into the rotor system from below. And that's what causes the rotor blades to spin automatically without the engine power. It's going to spin like a pinwheel. The immediate thing the pilot's going to do, he's going to push down on the collective lever, and that decreases the pitch of the blades. Basically, he's flattening the blades. And the reason is, flat blades produce less drag, and that's going to make the blades turn faster on their own. The faster the blades turn, the slower the helicopter can descend, which means less impact. Subscribe! So if you're in chopper and the helicopter's tail rotor fails, well now you have nothing to counteract the torque that's generated by the main rotor. So what happens is that the helicopter starts spinning out of control. So even if the engine is working fine, the pilot will shut off the power to the main rotor. Basically shut off the engine, right? And he's going to flatten out the rotor blades and initiate auto rotation. And as long as the chopper is like 500, 700 feet above the ground, that's still enough time for the rotor blades to increase in RPM and reach a constant rotation speed. And this allows the helicopter to land safely and slowly, almost as if it had parachutes. Subscribe!